r slash ask reddit if you could bring back any tv show what would it be mind hunter i was legit devastated when it was cancelled such a shame my name is earl pushing daisies just for lee pace's eyebrows firefly in living color my god that show was fucking hilarious fringe gravity falls i would love to see more of stanford pines the critic pushing daisies santa clarita diet stargate i want one of the rumored reboots to actually happen same goes for firefly which is also rumored to supposedly have a reboot in the works other than those two then pushing daisies the world wasn't ready for that show and finally psych how about a reboot starting one of the kids who played young sean they are both 27 now which means they are only three years younger than james rody was when he started the show ash vs evil dead it was so good no idea why it was cancelled firefly the sopranos the last scene was just a dream glow on netflix golden age simpsons mind hunter orville married with children the expanse louis altered carbon one more series of black adder i'd love a few more seasons of the expanse my so-called life my name is earl the writer's strike left the show hanging green acres oh to see eva gabor again scrubs dark angel Mork and Mindy if it would bring Robin Williams back. Westworld, it was just starting to get interesting with the world outside of the parks. Kitchen Confidential. Invader Zim. News radio for a sixth season with or without Phil, not sure what our rules are. How I Met Your Mother Slash. Mind Hunter. Manimal. F. R. I. E. N. D. S. Reaper. Ray Wise as the Devil was perfect, and we deserved more than two seasons ending on a cliffhanger. Millennium, it needs to end properly, not with the stupid X-Files episode. Edited, clarification. Sliders. The Wire. Lost. 12 Ounces Mouse. Supernatural Red Heart. Airwolf. Pushing Daisies, hands down. Gallivant. Game of Thrones, but make the last few seasons not suck. Better Off Ted. So hilarious. Terra Nova. It was cancelled way too soon. Space Force. What did his wife do? Why is she in prison? So many questions were left unanswered. Why Netflix why? House. Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles. 30 Rock. Santa Clarita Diet. SCTV. Every time a thread like this comes up I say the critic. It was way ahead of its time. The cultural references, cutaways, and flashbacks were Family Guy before Family Guy. Cancelled way too early. Police Squad. In color. Wire. Knight Rider. Z Nation. MXC2. John Benjamin has a van. Attack of the show. Person of interest. But maybe as a spin-off several years later, updated to current year. 
New characters ok, cameos from original cast definitely, ESP. Fusco. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Firefly. Obviously, Gumble to Gumble. Farscape. Brian Henson has been trying to fund a revival for the past decade without any luck. I miss John and Aaron, D. Argo, Pilot, Zahn, Rigel, Kiana, and even Scorpius. Great writing and acting, a unique offbeat sci-fi show that spoofed Star Wars, Star Trek, and other franchises. A great range of action, comedy, drama, and tragedy. The Critic. That show was ahead of its time. Space Above and Beyond. I really liked that series yet it only lasted one season. Dark Matter. Scrubs. Married with Children. Connections. Sense8. One of my many cancelled shows like Inside Job or Julie and the Phantoms. Avatar, The Last Airbender. No Ordinary Family. Objectively a pretty cheesy show now that I'm not 12 but I hate a cliffhanger. Archive 81. The Rugrats. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh wait. One day at a time. The Society. Archive 81. Infinity Train. King of Queens. Hill Street Blues. Men of a certain age. Copying this for when this question comes up again next week. MASH. As a wise person in this thread once said. Firefly. However, it ending early gave us a really kick-ass movie in Serenity. Metabots. Ugly Americans. The West Wing but with Will Bailey or Sam Seaborn as president. Also only if Aaron Sorkin and Tommy Schlam come back. Jericho. Firefly. I'd like to get a movie of both Burn Notice and White Collar made with something to do with events taking place today rather than when they left off. Both were great shows and could spin a movie or miniseries into place. Don't trust the bee in apartment 23. Lobo. Lobo. Bring back Sheriff Lobo. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Get a life. Community. 24. Skits Creek. Show ended way too soon, but I love how they decided to end it early instead of dragging it out and making it stale. Penny Dreadful. Either series. Chappelle's Show. Paranormal Witness. Huntick. Britannia. The Simpsons. 90s Sinbad the Sailor. Code Black. Heroes. MacGyver. Alphas, Pushing Daisies, Dead Like Me. Rupert. Suits was my jam back in the day. Pooch Perfect. Hanjin with MR. Cooper. Lost. I need to see all the stuff that got left out when the writer's strike of 07 shortened the last three seasons. Stargate We Need a Final Season brings closure to franchise. Dallas, Leave it to Beaver, Family Ties, Who's the Boss, The Practice. Big Bang Theory. Not because I loved it, but because of the reddit tears from the hate circle jerk it would create would be amazing. Arrested Development. Firefly. Ali G Show. John Doe. New Girl. Raised by Wolves. Starts off like a small simple show that gives homage to sci-fi new and old but very quickly turns into an elaborate space drama with intense characters and enough WTF to keep me hooked. Cancelled by Max after two seasons. Sad Face. 
give it a watch anyway. I need to see the last three books of The Expanse adapted. United States of Terra or Enlightened. Ash vs. Evil Dead. Northern Exposure. Colony because it was cancelled. Boston Legal. Denny Crane. Dark Angel. The X-Files. Flight of the Concords. Freaks and Geeks. Freaks and Geeks. The Office. Or honestly just a spin-off show with Creed in prison I'd totally be fine with. Maybe have cameos where other Office cast visit him or he escapes and they show up. The Carol Burnett Show, hands down. Carol Burnett Show. Seinfeld. Third Rock from the Sun. Carnivale. Strangers with Candy. West Wing. MAS Asterisk Age. Fringe. The OA, Archive 81. All the 90s cartoons. Three's Company, only if it's John Ritter, Suzanne Summers, and Joyce DeWitt. That show was so hilarious. Flash forward and lie to me. Firefly. The Big Bang Theory. I changed my mind, deleted a comment, I would bring back the How to Train Your Dragon spin-offs. I loved them and I wish they weren't so short. Or the Owl House, yes, these are more juvenile, I know, but Toe was so good. Or Gravity Falls. I'm very indecisive but they're all very nice and pleasant to look at visually. Family Affair. Roswell, New Mexico. Never Enough Maliks. And with an E. 1899. The Rockford Files. Sanjay and Craig, best childhood show ever. E. Can't find it anywhere now, though. Lois and Clark. Living on the Edge, Fighting Crimes, Spinning Webs. Puss in Boots. I can't decide between gravity falls and different strokes. The peripheral or the family. The Rockford Files. Best pie show ever. The Jeffersons. Timeless. Tim Meniere's short-lived chase show drive. Wipeout. Todd and the Book of Pure Evil. Sucks that it ended after only two seasons and on a cliffhanger. Whoops. Deadwood. The Magic School Bus as it was originally animated and produced. The new Netflix rendition just isn't the same. The Sopranos, I really wanna know what happened after the cameras cut out in the final scene. The Fairly Odd Parents. Utopia the British one. Banasic. Got at season 1 to 5 level. Titus. As someone from a dysfunctional family with an alcoholic chain smoking dad and whose wife is far prettier than I deserve, I guess I just loved the escapism of the show. Northern Exposure. Babylon 5. Wife Swap. Humans and Reservation Dogs, just one more season for each, please. Although The Leftovers, is my favorite series, I couldn't ask for even one more episode, let alone season. It ended perfectly. Wouldn't mind a prequel about Holy Wayne, though. Cheers. The Wilds on Amazon. I wanna know what happens. Monsters. Glow. Transformers animated, so it can have the fourth season it was supposed to get. Arrested Development. A TNG slash DS9 slash Voice Star Trek. Not this new Trek bullshit where everyone is moody, edgy, and full of mad quips. 
the Great. Transformers G1. Viteflot. Frekazoid. We need him back. Saint Felf equals D. I remember Kramer and George Castonsa, Elaine and Seinfeld too. Hannibal. It was underrated as hell. The visuals were up there as well as the writing. And it ended right before the Silence of the Lamb storyline. Selfie. Testes. The Dieter or the Mick. They never should have been cancelled. Super Ted. Third Rock from the Sun. Lost and Slash or Breaking Bad. The Wonder Years. Jericho. Twin Peaks. Inside Job. Whale Wars. Get a Life or Deadwood. Coach. Southland. Low Winter Sun. Northern Exposure. It was so quirky. Very different, but either G. L. O. W. Or Los Espookais. The OA. I need to know where they were going with it. Watchmen Season 2. The Good Place. Pushing Daisies. Farscape. It was very unique and weird, with a great cast and storyline. Also I feel like having a new generational cast and setting where they're not criminals living on the fringe anymore would work out really well. Cosby. Sensei. Travelers. Friends. Airwolf. Erie, Indiana. Revolution, 2012 to 2014, about loss of electricity apocalypse and of course the office. Firefly. Black Donnelly's. Deadbeat. Such an amazing show with Tyler Labini. Cancelled way too soon and had so much potential. Sledgehammer. I don't need to bring back anything. I just need companies to purchase a whole series up front. I refuse to watch any series that isn't completed already. Cheers. Space Force. Gravity Falls. Reaper. That show deserved more seasons. Had a unique concept and was funny. Venture Brothers. Holding out hope it actually does get brought back. The movie finale was fine, but not a satisfactory ending. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.